After that, I did the video oh, a little while ago. Um, what happens when you film yachts? I talked about internet costs and the, one of the, well, some of the comments were, were like obviously in disbelief, which I understand. But some of the comments were like, no, I don't, I don't believe it. Uh, I think you're wrong. So um, I thought I'd go into that a little, in a little bit more depth and we'll talk about actual prices. I'll show you some actual prices from some of the leading companies. So one of the questions I got in the last video was, why don't you just use 4G? Well, we do use 4G. All yachts have 4G on them. Every yacht is basically set up the same way. They'll have access to all of the technology. So 4G, Wi-Fi in the, in the marinas, like the marinas offer free Wi-Fi for the boats. We can connect that and bring it onto the boat. 4G, uh, VSAT. The, the, the problem with 4G is the limitations. Most SIM cards, they have um, a limitation. Mine, for instance, I get 20 gigs a month. Um, and once it runs out, uh, it, gets, it gets massively reduced the, the bandwidth. So a, a yacht like this one over here, probably got 20 crew on board, 25 crew. They go through 20 gigs in maybe two days. So that's a problem that until recently uh, hasn't really been a solution for. There are SIM cards now coming out onto the market that, uh, that do have unlim truly unlimited data and, uh, and they're not cheap, but they are substantially cheaper than, than uh, Visa. And we'll take a look at that. So before we go into pricing, I just want to give a brief description of how the systems work on a yacht. Here, the yacht is docked in the marina. The marina broadcasts a free Wi-Fi signal for all the people who are staying at the marina to use. The yacht has the ability to hook onto this signal and pipe it through the yacht on the subnet. So now we've moved out of the marina and we're in a coastal area. So now you can move on to 4G uh, and you can usually pick up that signal for a couple of miles out. Okay, now we're, uh, let's say 10 miles out We've lost the 4G signal, and the only thing left to use is VSAT. VSAT is the all-round signal. You can use it anywhere. Of course, you can still use VSAT when you're in all of the other places too. Uh, obviously, the reason why we use uh, the 4G and the Wi-Fi, Marina Wi-Fi, is because it's faster, but VSAT works everywhere. It can also be interesting when you have to repair the equipment. One of the systems I haven't mentioned yet, I just want to go over briefly, is the Imarsat system. All yachts have this equipment on board. It's mainly used for emergencies, emergency phone calls, and emergency data it requires. It's extremely expensive, even more expensive than using VSAT. However, as you can see, this is a coverage map. And you can see these satellites in space. There are four satellites, and they basically overlap signal the signal area overlaps so you have redundancy and basically you have a signal from the obviously the uh, the satellites are on the equator and you have a signal up to up as far as 70 degrees north and down as far as 70 degrees south you may have actually used uh, the MRSAT system if you ever use the internet whilst you were on a commercial flight the chances are that was MRSAT that that you were using. Internet providers were contacted for independent quotes. Standard price lists were received. These price lists are available via their websites. Links to their websites are listed below. This price list is from one of the two companies that I mentioned. And as you can see from this list, so let's go down to the bottom first. Let's look at the most expensive, the highest speed one. So 40 megabytes per month is $35,800. So 40 megabytes is, pro I would say that's probably around about where the average speed of household internet is. I mean, I know there are much higher speeds. I have 200 megs at home, but um, let's say that's an average. So that's an average speed and it's probably cost you 20, 20 euros a month, $20 a month, whatever. And there you go. So $35,800. Maritime service providers use two phrases to quote internet speeds, MIR, 
maximum information rate and CIR, committed information rate. The maximum speed is what you'll receive if the space is available on the beam on the satellite. However, the guaranteed speed you'll receive is much less as you can see from this chart. So if we take an example here of six megs, uh, for $8,650 a month, you get guaranteed 1.5 megs down and half a meg up. And if it's available, you'll get six megs down and 1.5 megs up. And if you have a look here, this is a company called Priva, which was previously known as MTN Sat. These were the, uh, the main players in this industry for a long time. Here is their price plan which is a little better at $6,200 a month uh, for six megs. Uh, six megs down, one meg up, that's their MIR, their maximum information rate. And their, but their CIR is only one and a half megs down and half a meg up. So it's a little bit cheaper, but the specs are slightly different. And lastly, uh, I had a comment about uh, MRSAT and someone was telling me that uh, the MRSAT system was much cheaper and it could be had for under $500 a month. So their six megs is $6,040, which actually sounds pretty good in comparison. But when you look at it, the guaranteed speed is only 512 kilobits down and 256 kilobits up. That's pretty shocking, really. Uh, the six megs down and two megs up is good, but you've got to be sure that you're going to get it. And you won't know that until you uh, sign a contract with them, which is a 12 month contract. So somebody uh, put a comment in saying that they had a look for VSAT prices and a simple Google search they came up with better prices. Well, yes, you can get cheaper prices. However, let's imagine this boat here. You're in French Polynesia. The network operations center, which uh, the companies have that you contact when you have a problem, they're in Italy or in the UK. You call them, but they're closed because they only have, they only have a cheap service. They don't have the full infrastructure that you need. So now all of a sudden you're in French Polynesia and your billionaire owner wants his internet and you have to tell him you have to wait until tomorrow. They're not gonna, they're not gonna live with that. The big companies, MTNSAT, Omni Access, they have 24 seven support. So you can call them from anywhere in the world at any time of the day and you will get, immediately you'll get a, an answer and they'll be in work. They won't, you won't be waking them up in bed uh, so they can scramble to get their laptop and try and figure out what's going on. They'll be in the, op the operations center ready to help. And that's why you pay top money. Okay, let's take a quick look at the uh, 4G cards I, was, I mentioned earlier. So if we zoom in on this, and we can see that the prices are, is very clever actually. So they basically, they say the more you use, the cheaper it is. Well, it's not really, is it? I mean, the more you use, the more expensive it is, but it, the cheaper it is per gigabyte. So 100 gigabytes in a month, 450 uh, euros. Uh, 200 gigs is 900 euros, so on. So when you get down to one terabyte, you're paying two and a half thousand euros a month. So yeah, it is a lot cheaper than Visa. It's also much faster than Visa in general. And um, yeah, but it's still not cheap. Okay, well, I hope you found this uh, informative. It's a lot to take in. Um, the prices seem shocking, but when you understand the, the infrastructure that's in place, I think it makes more sense. Um, I hope it's give you a little bit more of a, uh, understanding of what goes on on the super yachts or how they're set up at least. If you have any questions, place them uh, below and um, I'll try to answer them as best I can in the next video. All right, so uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.